Hello friends, it's been a while. I haven't done a video for some time. I uh, just want to just, just wanna, uh, say hello to everybody. I'm going to try to be very quick on this one. Uh, today I want to talk about this topic, joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. Let me just say, let's just, just say a quick prayer. Say a quick prayer with me. Uh, Father Lord, thank you for today. We praise you. We glorify your name for your presence, for your mercy, for helping us through to this moment and leading us glory and honor unto you. Father Lord God Almighty, this, uh, this, this YouTube channel, I say take all your glory, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let me just sing a little song. Take her stage, Lord. Have your way. I'm only a vessel and nothing more. When you're done, take all the glory. I'm satisfied to see you glorified. When you're done, take all the glory. I'm satisfied. To see you glorified. Once again, welcome. This is Sister Princess here to talk to us about the joy of the Lord. You know, sometimes the enemy will, will bring things into our life to really weigh us down. And so many occasions, um, there's, you know, those situations that the enemy bring to you. Who is the enemy? I always say the enemy is Satan. Satan will manifest in different ways through different people, through different situations to frustrate, you know, to frustrate the children of God. But I'm here to tell us today that uh, that feeling of sadness, you know, there are some people, they just, uh, they just, they just carry that atmosphere of sadness. They constantly uh, are sad, you know, even the, the every little thing, the, even the most, the smallest thing will ruin their day and their week their month i'm telling you they just sad and they are like that i'm here to tell you that continuous feeling of sadness is not of god it is the way of the enemy trying to weigh you down to prevent you from praying for, to prevent you from moving forward sadness is not of god um, uh, let us look at the uh, Philippians 4 4. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say, Rejoice. It is a commandment. No matter that situation, rejoice, says the Lord. Say, Give thanks and praise to God in all situations. Excuse me. <clears throat> Satan is alive. The Bible says, give thanks and praise unto God in all situations. Philippians, let me repeat that, Philippians 4.4, 4, it says, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. What has the enemy brought into your life lately? What is that thing that is going on? It could maybe just happen recently. It could have been going on for a long time. I'm here to encourage you, to tell you, you need to get out of it. That continuous feeling of unhappiness, that continuous feeling of sadness, it is not of God. Never lose your joy, regardless of what the enemy want to bring to you. Never lose your joy. That I pray for you today in the name of Jesus Christ. That feeling of sadness. That continuous feeling of sadness that you just carry around. I pray it goes away now in the name of Jesus Christ. That feeling of sadness that you carry around you all the time. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive joy. Receive joy. Receive peace in the name of Jesus Christ. There, I know there are so many situations that may happen. 
uh, I mean, somebody you went to, you trying to look for a job. Sometimes the enemy will make sure they hold that situation, that 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 thing. They will hold it so strong. There's that strong hold upon your life, preventing you from moving forward. Friends gonna come and disappoint you. People will come and lie on you. So many things. But why I am making this video today is to encourage somebody to tell us that that continuous feeling of sadness is the enemy's agenda to break you, to weigh you down. What is the issue, my brothers and sisters? What is it? Let me tell you, we all go through situations, me included. I am not exempt from, from, from situations that make me come in that I want to bring continuous just sorrow and sadness. And when we continue to, 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 to be like that, before you know it, you end up in serious depression. And you know that that continuous feeling of, of sadness most of the time end up, I know that depression is, uh, for most people, it's actually a, a chemical imbalance of the brain. I understand that. That's not what I'm talking about. It's, that is beyond a person's control. I am talking about, you know, us just uh, allowing things that, that we can pray about. Things that sometimes we can, we can even overlook. It doesn't mean that it did not happen. That's what I'm trying to say here. I'm not trying to trivialize your experience concerning whatever that situation is that has made you so sad. But what I'm trying to do here is to encourage you, to encourage us, us, you and I, to get out of that continuous state of, of, of helplessness, that continuous feeling of sorrow, that continuous feeling of just, just, just that state of melancholy. It wears you down. It knocks you down. It begins to make you to even begin to hate yourself. Hate people around you. Hate yourself. Because of that stronghold of sadness. Joy is of the Lord. Joy is of the Lord. He said, let's go to uh, Nehemiah, uh, uh, Nehemiah 8.10. Nehemiah 8.10. It says, the joy of the Lord is your strength. The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. The Bible says, count it all joy. That situation. There are so many things that is happening. It is a training. God is God, even though the enemy is, is, is throwing things at you, God is actually also using it to train you. There are some things that go on in our lives. It is a training process. It helps it, it help to strengthen us. It's like, you know, like, um, like gold. Like, you know, the jewelry that we wear. Oh, well, I have a gold uh, wedding band here. Wedding ring on my finger. God goes through a lot of things. He goes through the fire. He get hammered. He get broken and then molded into a beautiful design. That is how it is for us as believers. When we are going through that thing, those trials, those temptations, I'm trying to tell us here. You, it's okay. It's okay to be unhappy about certain things. It's okay when certain things happen and you're not happy about it. Yes, of course, that feeling of unhappiness about a situation. I mean, you maybe you are in a relationship or you are in something, a job, something, something, and there are things that are happening that you really don't like. Of course, you have a right to be unhappy about it to the point that you want to address it. You want to address it to make a change for the better. You can even look at your own self. There are things about us. About us, are you overspending? You're wasting your money. You're going to the mall every weekend just buying things that you don't need. And they only to come home and say, oh my God, what is all this? There are certain things that happen to us that even we bring upon ourselves. And before we know it, it, make, it, it, it makes us to be unhappy. And when you, 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 you have the right to be unhappy about a situation. If, you be, if you're not being treated right, of course it's your right to be unhappy 
about that situation to the point that you want to change it you want to do something about it but that's not what i'm talking about here that perpetual feeling of helplessness that continuous feeling of sorrow that continuous of sadness somebody sees you and say hey hey please don't 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 greet me this please what's going on what, 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 what? don't uh, somebody did something to me last morning that's what i'm talking about here that 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 atmosphere that that negative aura that negative feeling that atmosphere of continuous uh, 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 sorrow it it repels people away from you even bring you into more isolation if we continue like that before you know it you chasing people away from you people who could be your destiny helpers let's look at uh James chapter 1 uh James 1:24 James 1:24 Bible it says it says my brethren count it all joy when you fall into various trials know that the testing of your faith produces patience but let patience have its perfect work that you may be perfect and complete lacking nothing it says count it all joy what is james chapter 1 2 to 4 is saying is this count it all joy because that situation that trial that tribulation that you find yourself in right now it is testing your patience. It is helping to build your faith in God. It is helping to strengthen you. It is helping to teach you how to pray. And many occasions when we begin, when we pray on sick and when things are happening, instead of being in that sorrowful oh, oh, state of helplessness, that is what Satan wants. That is what the enemy wants. For you to be in a corner, oh miserable, oh, 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 that is what the enemy wants. But that is not what God wants for you. God has made you a conqueror. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, I am beautifully, wonderfully, and fearfully made. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, you, this feeling of sorrow, get away from me. The joy of the Lord is my strength. When those, when, when those feelings begin to come, one will overwhelm you. You need to look at yourself and say, The joy of the Lord is my strength. The joy of the Lord is your strength. I pray for you and I pray with you today in the name of Jesus Christ. That thing that is bringing so much sorrow and sadness into your life that want to weigh you down. I pray today in the name of Jesus, they be broken, be removed, be cast out of your life in Jesus' name. So as I was saying, if uh, 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 James chapter 1, 2, to 4, as I was studying, you know, I was just, I was I was saying, you know, I was saying, um, you know, certain things happened to me of recent that put me in a state of unhappiness, and and but then, thank God, you know, I another thing I want to say, as a believer, you need to have people of of like mind. You need to have people of same faith around you. When things are happening, things are going wrong, you need to have a pillar of support spiritually that you can go to and you pray together. We pray with you or pray for you to help you, encourage you. Don't just leave yourself in that state of isolation. Count it all joy, joy, he says. He says, count it all joy when you fall into various trials. He says, know that the testing of your faith produces patience, but let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Count it all joy. Those disappointments, count it all joy. That friend who told a lie on you, count it all joy. 
that relationship that you wasted five years of your time trying to build a relationship only to realize at the last minute that no this is the person disappointment count it all joy because according to James chapter 1, 2 to 4, it is that trials, those situations, those troubles that you are going through right now. It is helping. It is helping you. Helping you to be patient. It is helping to strengthen your faith. It is helping to, 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 to help you to pray. You know, another problem that many of us believers have. That and Satan is very happy about that. When those trials, when those situations come at you, many times we forget to pray. We become so 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 dejected, so saddened, so unhappy. And before you know it, you forget you forget your, your strongest weapon, which is prayer. That is not the will of God for you, but that is the will of the enemy for you. It wants you to be in that continuous state of sadness, state of sorrow, unhappiness, that you lose focus. You lose your balance. You even lose your faith in God. He says, count it all joy. Let's come over here. The betrayers. They betrayed you. Count it all joy. It's, a less, it's part of lessons learned in life. It's a life lesson for you to learn. If you, if a friend, be, if you give money to somebody, lend somebody money, and they disappointed you, it's a betrayer. Next time they come around, you're not gonna listen to them. You're not giving them a dime. Many situations that come to us that are of the negative, it is for us to learn. It is for us to grow. It is for us to be strong in the Lord. James chapter 1, I, you know, that I, I just love that, that, that James 1, 2 to 4. I just, whenever I'm going through certain situations, I go back there and I meditate on it. And it, 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 it helps to build me up. Count it all joy, my brethren. When you fall into various trials, know that the testing of your faith produces patience. What is that thing that you are dealing with right now? A bad relationship? You're trying to get pregnant? Your in-laws are on your neck? Your boss is on your case? You're working so hard you're not, you're not being recognized at your job? Can't it all join? It is helping to test your patience. It is helping to build your faith. Never lose your joy. Never lose hope in the Lord. Do not lose hope in the Lord when you are going through certain things. Some it, it, and situation and, and, and when those kind of things are coming around, that is when somebody's gonna come and say, Oh, are you you still a Christian? You stupid fool. You you, you are so stupid, you're so ignorant. You're still praying, oh. Listen, when people like that come around you, you need to block those negative words. That's the work of the enemy. That's the work of Satan trying to push your way in more into that pit of sorrow. Let me tell you, too much, too much, too much feeling of, of, of unhappiness because of what this one did to you, what that one did to you, what the other one did to you, what has been, oh, 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 before you know it, you fall into a state of depression. Those betrayals, somebody lied on you, somebody did something wrong to you, somebody did this and that to you, you try to find a job and they didn't give you, you're not going to come home and sit and say, I'm never going to look for another job, oh, I'm not going to look for another job, I really wanted to work over there, then they didn't give me, now I'm just going to stay home and be sad and unhappy, no, you're going to get up, you're going to go to another place, you're going to find fill application, you're going to keep going until you get a job that will give you that place that you want and sometimes sometimes there are certain things that don't come to us that thing did not come to you because god knows that it might you might end up putting you in serious trouble you might end up regretting it that thing might lead, lead to your to serious accidents or serious uh issues for you in the future 
So I'm here to encourage somebody. Let's come here. It says, um, it says, um, let me tell you one more thing. Thank, oh, thank you, Jesus. You just came to me. Thank you, Jesus. Don't you know that those things that you are going through, you think you're going through it alone. You think God is not there. You think God is not there. They seeing that thing that is happening. That is your patience. Be patient in the Lord. That is your patience. God is trying to see. Sometimes it's not every negative thing that happens to us. That is the work of the enemy. Sometimes God is also trying to test you. To see your faith in him. Again I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, you said you would never give us what we not we will not be able to handle. Lord Almighty, whatever trial and tribulation that we go through, Lord Almighty, I pray that you lead us through it. I pray that you be with us and you guide us through it. I pray as we go into those situations, you minister to us. I pray that you send your angels to us to speak to us, to encourage us, to help us, to help all us up in the name of Jesus Christ. Can't you told you say let the joy of the Lord be your strength. When you have when the joy of that joy of the Lord I'm talking about it's not it's not attached to to the job that 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 you have. It's not attached to to oh well I have no food to eat. I don't know I'm gonna get oh thank you Jesus I know you will provide Oh, the rent is due. Oh, Lord, what am I going to... Thank you, Lord Jesus. I know you will help me. I know you will find God. He said, God will make a way where there seems to be no way. Let the joy of the Lord fill you up. When that joy of the Lord is and is, is, is deep down in you, it comes... It, say, it says, out of your belly shall flow river of living water. Out of your belly shall flow. It's not, it's, are, are, are we going to cut your belly and there will be water pouring? Out? That's not what it is. Out of your belly shall flow. Joy, peace, happiness, strength, faith. That's what, that's what the Bible is saying. Let the joy of the Lord comfort you. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. The realization that the joy of the Lord is, is in you is a strengthener. The joy of the Lord is a hope builder. The joy of the Lord is a it, it, it helps to hold you up. It ministers to you. That no matter what that person does, some people purposely will do things because they want to actually physically they want to see you in that sorrowful state. But when the joy of the Lord is flowing out of your belly like rivers of living water, you get up the next day, you take a shower, you make sure you look nice and beautiful, you walk right past them, let them see you. Taking your cat walk. Let them see you walking in stride. Even though deep down, you do not know where your rent is coming from. But you walk right by that person at work who is doing everything to make you miserable. You walk right by that person in your friend, friend, uh, friend circle, in your family, in your neighborhood who is trying to make you miserable. You walk with your head up high. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. Because the Lord who created you, he is there with you. He knows you. He's got the whole world in his hands. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, one, one, I was going to the book of Job. Jesus Christ, he went through trials. I don't know if there's anybody on earth right now who will be able to go through what Job went to, through. I don't think God will even allow any one of us to go through that because, I don't know, he's, he, you know, Satan dealt with him, but he never lost hope. 
He never lost hope in God. He lost everything. He lost his wealth. He lost his health. He lost his family. Even his wife came and said, you this stupid man. Cause God and die. But Job never lost hope in God. He had the job of the Lord in him. He knew that God said, though he slayed me, yet will I trust him. You, the Satan, though you bring in the, my child is misbehaving, I yet will I trust the Lord to help me deal with you. Though my wife, my husband, my friend, my family, my neighbor, my boss, this and that, uh, financially I am stressed. Though this business is, 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 is not moving the way I want, even your ministry. If you are a pastor, evangelist, whatever you are in the, in the capacity working for God, if though it is not moving the way I want it to move now, I see the future. I still will trust him. Say, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you, to give you hope and a future. God does not have plans to frustrate us. He has no plans to frustrate us. It is Satan who brings all those frustrations. But when we have that knowledge, that realization of the joy of the Lord is in us. That feeling of sorrow, that sadness, that state of helplessness, miserable state, that confusion state that Satan wants to see us in. We will not let that happen. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. I pray, I join my faith with yours right now, wherever you are, view me. I pray may the joy of the Lord be our strength. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Every situation that Satan will bring to you, the Lord Almighty will cast it out and destroy it in the name of Jesus. You will prosper. You will triumph over the devices of Satan that they want to use to bring you sorrow. I pray the joy of the Lord will continue to be your strength. The joy of the Lord will continue to be my strength in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Enjoy. Never forget to pray. Never lose your joy. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. God bless you. Bye, everybody. I'll see you next time.